Matthew 3. Years later, John the Baptist started preaching in the desert of Judea. He said, Turn back to God. The kingdom of heaven will soon be here. John was the one the prophet Isaiah was talking about when he said, In the desert, someone is shouting, Get the road ready for the Lord. Make a straight path for him. John wore clothes made of camel's hair. He had a leather strap around his waist and ate grasshoppers and wild honey. From Jerusalem and all Judea, and from the Jordan River Valley, crowds of people went to John. They told how sorry they were for their sins, and he baptized them in the river. Many Pharisees and Sadducees also came to be baptized. But John said to them, You bunch of snakes! Who warns you to run from the coming judgment? Do something to show that you have really given up your sins. And don't start telling yourselves that you belong to Abraham's family. I tell you that God can turn these stones into children for Abraham. An axe is ready to cut the trees down at their roots. Any tree that does not produce good fruit will be chopped down and thrown into a fire. I baptize you with water so that you will give up your sins. But someone more powerful is going to come, and I am not good enough even to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His threshing fork is in his hand, and he is ready to separate the wheat from the husks. He will store the wheat in a barn and burn the husks in a fire that never goes out. Jesus left Galilee and went to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. But John kept objecting and said, I ought to be baptized by you. Why have you come to me? Jesus answered, For now, this is how it should be, because we must do all that God wants us to do. Then John agreed. So Jesus was baptized. And as soon as he came out of the water, the sky opened, and he saw the Spirit of God coming down on him like a dove. Then a voice from heaven said, This is my own dear Son, and I am pleased with him.